Okay, here is a uh, quick tutorial um, a question I received in the 2011 fall class from Lynn. Uh, she needed to create a staircase for her project in another classroom. She sent me the um, sketch image of the profile. I didn't know which start, which which direction the stair started, so I'm just going to take a guess here. But basically, I'm copying this on a uh, floor plan that I, you know, recently just created with four walls inside of a room. I have two floors. I basically, create the shape. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a couple of copies of these in case uh, you guys miss something. But I have the basic shape of the um, staircase and what I'm going to do is just take a model line <coughs> and draw a, um, a line straight down the center of every um, turn in the staircase run. So I'm just basically drawing straight lines down the middle I'm making sure I snap to the uh, midpoints uh, to make sure that I have all that. So continue to do that. I can extend that line up because I want to make sure that I get the crossing points of um, these uh, midpoints of the staircase, center staircase lines. So now I just drew the second one, but what I'm going to do is make sure that they all intersect uh, so I can have a start and stop point when I start the run of the actual stair. So I'm extending it all the way to the wall just to get the uh, um, extending it all the way to the other boundary so I can get the the, uh, the intersection. Now that I have the intersection I can go ahead and fill it this After I draw these little circles, I'm just going to draw the little circles just to show you guys what I'm trying to do is get these intersecting points. Because this is the best way to quickly um, do a, um, a run staircase by just snapping at these points. Go ahead and put in even the intersecting lines of. Uh, the other turn for the landing. So now that I got all these little intersections with the little circles around, I can go ahead and select my runs there. Start point, center of that circle, which is the intersecting point. But I can just go center of circle now that I have circles. And there's my stair giving me the indication of how many um, rises I have remaining after I snap to the next circle or intersecting point. And there's my first one, two, three, four. Four rises. And now the next step is. Um, Following after that will be the landing because when you're doing a run stair, it's always staircase, then landing, and then next flight. So it was easy because I had the points in place. So the sketch that Lynn gave me seemed to be a little off of one of those angle lines. But uh, for the most part, this is what we get. As simple as that. Up, turn, and up again on a different angle. If you want to put that on different floors, you just copy the same thing to the next floor above or below. I'm just trying to show you this in 3D real quick. Basically enter from the first floor and it's turning and going up to the second floor. So there's your staircase. I hope that answers your question, Lynn. Um, I think you had another question in regards to the um, how to shade the walls in. Uh, like an AutoCAD, you basically can hatch the um, the inner core of the walls and things like that. So uh, in Revit, you can do the same thing too. You have everything you can do in AutoCAD plus more in uh, Revit. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just create an opening in the floor just so you can see the staircase because it 
won't show if I do a shaded view so I'm basically just gonna um, <coughs> select the actual floor for that first floor uh, second floor and um, edit the boundary by basically creating another uh, boundary inside within the, the existing boundary um, so go ahead and just draw a sketch boundary line all the way around the staircase seems like I'm having a problem with that right now because I'm using a digitizer tablet Oops, made another little mistake here. Need to undo that and just snap to the end point. I guess I don't have to be too critical here because this wasn't part of the tutorial, but I'm just throwing it anyway in case someone needs to know how to open up um, a portion of the floor to see below. And this is basically how you do it. Um, a typical situation is a staircase or an elevator. So now we have that opening selected. Now if I do a shaded view, I can actually see the staircase all the way through. And then if I turn in 3D, and then turn the shades back on, shade with edges, I can see this staircase penetrating the floor above. I'll turn some shadows on just so you can see uh, the effect the shadows and there's a plan view if I pop it up just a little bit using the view cube you can see little shadows on there and that's pretty much it so now Lynn I think your your last question was basically how to shape these walls so I'll quickly just do that right inside the your stair question also just make sure you see the dimensions 25 by 50 um, basically select the wall then I go ahead and say select all instances visible in view if you want to do the entire project and you got other sheets you can just say pretty much everywhere select you know all instances instances everywhere um, going into the surface pattern on the um, edit menu I think it should be the um, the cut pattern so let's do this one more time it's basically select the wall that you want to poche or put a color in or shade in select one then here where I go select all instances remember you can do entire project if you want to uh, here I'm just saying visible in view then I go hide uh, override graphics in view by elements and then I'm going to go down to the uh, cut pattern and here is uh, everything for the stuff I have selected hit the arrow I can go to solid feel instantly turns black because that's the color that's by default but I can play with other colors just to show you red hit apply there's red and I can change it to another color but more than likely you guys will be using a gray and that's all to it um, I hope this helps. If anybody else has any other questions, feel free to give me a, a call or send me an email and I can send you a quick video uh, tutorial. Uh, have a great weekend.